In this video, we're going to look at solving inequalities with two signs. Before we do that, just let's have a look at a typical uh, statement with two inequality signs in it. So here you've got that x is larger than 4, but it's less than or equal to 10. So the integers that would work for it, so the whole numbers that would be in this, um, that would satisfy this inequality, would be it was bigger than 4, so it could be 5, it could be 6, it could be 7, it could be 8, it could be 9. It's less than or equal to 10, so it could also be 10. Okay, so these are the integers that would satisfy this inequality. Okay, if you're solving inequalities with two signs, you just want to make sure that you're doing the same thing to both the numbers. Okay, so let's have a look at what's a typical question. Okay, we've been asked to solve uh, x plus 1 is bigger than 4 but less than 7. So, whenever you want to solve an inequality, you just want to have x in the middle. So, you want to get rid of the plus 1. So, we're going to take away 1 from everything. Okay, so 4 take away 1 is 3. x plus 1 take away 1 would be x, and 7 take away 1 is 6. So, if you wanted to solve x plus 1 is bigger than 4 but less than 7, the answer would be x is bigger than 3 but less than 6. Okay, so you just take away 1 from all of them. Okay, this time we've been asked to solve 3x is bigger than 15 but less than 21. So, we don't want to have times by 3 beside the x, we just want to have x here. So, we're going to divide everything by 3. So, divide by 3, divide by 3, and divide by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 3x divided by 3, we just leave you with x, you're dividing by 3 to get rid of the times by 3, so it's just x. And 21 divided by 3 is 7, so you've got x is bigger than 5 but less than 7. And let's just try that out, well 6 would satisfy that, 3 times 6 is 18, and 18 is between 15 and 21. Okay, this time we've been asked to solve, uh, 3x minus 1 is bigger than or equal to 20, but less than or equal to 29. So you want to get x on its own, so just like an equation, you'd want to get rid of the minus 1 first of all, so we're going to add 1 to both sides, so add, or add 1 to everything actually, sorry, not an equation, add 1 to everything. So 20 plus 1 is 21, uh, 3x minus 1 plus 1, well it gets rid of the minus 1, so you're just left with 3x, and 29 plus 1 is 30, making sure that you're keeping the inequality signs the same. You don't want the, uh, the times by 3 here beside the x, so you're going to divide everything by 3. So divide by 3, divide by 3, and divide by 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7. 3x divided by 3 is x, and 30 divided by 3 is 10. So the answer would be x is bigger than or equal to 7, but less than or equal to 10. Okay, this time we've been asked to solve x plus 1 divided by 2 is bigger than 5, but less than 7. Because this is large divided by 2, we want to get rid of the divide by 2, so we're going to times everything by 2. So times by 2, times by 2, times by 2. 5 times 2 is 10. x plus 1 divided by 2, whenever you times by 2, it gets rid of the divide by 2, so you're just going to be left with x plus 1. And 7 times 2 is 14. You then want to get rid of the plus 1, so you're going to take away 1 from everything. And then that will leave you with 9 is less than x, which is less than 13. So let's try one of the numbers. Let's try 11. It's in between 9 and 13. So 11. 11 plus 1 is 12, and half of it is 6. And Oh yeah, that works. Fantastic. This time we've been asked to solve. Minus 2 is less than 10 minus x, which is less than 4. So what you want to do in this question is, first of all, you want to get rid of the 10 here. So we're going to take away 10 from everything. So take away 10, take away 10, and take away 10. Uh, minus 2 take away 10, well it's 10 lower than minus 2, so that's minus 12 is less than, 10 take away 10 is 0, so you're left with your minus x, and 4 take away 10 is minus 6, so you've got that minus 12 is less than minus x, which is less than minus 6. Now what you will now want to do is you want to change uh, this minus x into an x, so you want to times everything through by minus 1. Whenever you times by a negative or divide by a negative in inequalities, you've got to change the signs around as well, okay? So you would get minus 12 times by minus 1, which would be 12. You would get minus x times minus 1, which is x. And you would get minus 6 times 1, which is 6. Now even looking at this, the inequality seems the wrong way around. And you've got to change the signs around whenever you times through by minus 1, so it goes like this. So you get that x is between 12 and 6. But you've, it's, it's back to front, so you need to write it around properly with a smaller number at the front. So the answer would be 6 is less than x, which is less than 12. And let's just try a number out. So let's try, I don't know, 8. 8's in between 6 and 12. 10 take away 8 is 2, and 2 is in between minus 2 and 4. Yep, so it works. Fantastic.
And our last question, write down all the integer, and equal, or integer values of x which satisfy this inequality. Minus 4 is less than or equal to 2x, which is less than 4. So you want to get rid of the 2, so you're going to divide everything through by 2. So divide by 2, divide by 2, and divide by 2. So you're going to get minus 2 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 2. It says all the integer values that satisfy it. So it's bigger than, or, bigger than or equal to minus 2, but less than 2. So it could be minus 2, it could be minus 1, it could be 0. And it could be 1, but it can't be 2 because it's going to be less than 2. So the integer values would be minus 2, minus 1, 0, and 1.